Hello and welcome to a new episode of my knitting podcast. I am sitting on the floor today in my uh, office because it's chaos on this side. <laughs> so the only nice background is this one. And this is actually a new cabinet that I uh, that we bought on second hand the other day. And yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. It has these original paintings on the front. Um, and we think it's from the 1700s, 1771, something like that, because I think I can see um, uh, the year written on the inside, but we'll have to do some re research to see wh when it's from. <laughs> okay, so it was a while ago. Um, I'm liking this one a month video um, schedule that I have now. Um, and <laughs> to, to start off this um, podcast, I can tell you that I have uh, I have started a Patreon page, and that page is for an extra video every month. So if you want to see more from me, uh, you can follow me on Patreon, and you can search my name, and I also will leave a link in the des uh, description down below. And it's a few different kind of tiers, um, as usual with Patreon, um, and it's. The first one is for early test knitting calls, so you get a uh, you get to know everything beforehand, <laughs> of course, and it's also kind of like a secret Instagram feed kind of thing. So I will post pictures in there. I will do some uh, posts that I don't post on Instagram. You know, maybe I will put the pic pictures up on Instagram, like yeah, later on, but not uh, not right away. So you know, kind of like a behind the scenes tier and then the next tier is for an extra video every month so you get an extra um you know one more than on youtube so and in the next tier you get my new patterns for free so or not for free you know you get them you can download them <laughs> on there and by the time i post the new pat the next pattern i will remove the old one so there's always going to be one pattern um available for you there so and that will start next week when i release my shawl pattern um but yeah uh, and then there's a a fourth tier but it's not you know i don't have any extra things on there it's just extra support if you you know have the the possibility to do that do that i'm very grateful of course um but yeah and of course you will get you know I will mention everyone in all the pa Patreons. I think it's the last here. Yeah, I will mention you in my videos in the end of the video. So, yeah, yeah. So when I started to thinking to think about what I will talk about in this <laughs> episode, I just realized, oh, it's a lot of secrets, which is boring, of course. Um, but it's for a <laughs> it's for a long project because I have recently gotten a book contract. What do you say? A book deal? Um, and of course there will be a lot of secrets about that. And also if you... Uh, I will I will not like post any pictures of the finished things on my Patreon or anything. But I will do some hints and I will do... Maybe I will ask you th some things about uh, the, the things that I'm going to knit for the book. So if you want more book content, you... Yeah. Um, maybe you, you could consider... Uh, to signing up to my Patreon because I will talk more about the book process on there. So maybe a bit more like <laughs> Eden is coming to say hi. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah, so I will m talk more about the book process. So maybe the, the writing process and the creative process, uh, how I'm feeling in certain, you know, stages. Um, so yeah. If you want more book content, content, it's going to be on my Patreon as well. So, um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> back to where I started. I have a lot of secret projects right now because I have this book thing and I also have some secret design uh, work that I can't share with you yet, but will be coming out during the fall and Christmas and early next year. 
so that's a lot of fun doing but it's not a lot of fun because I can't show anything <laughs> on Instagram so maybe I will be able to show something later on who knows but I have a few things that I have been working on that isn't um, secret so I'm gonna talk about that um, yeah I'm gonna talk about some finished things I have this this sweater that doesn't have a finished name yet but it's knit in Nutiden um, and it, the color is called Bag and Hem and it's a textured yoke with like yeah it's all over the yoke um, it's in the uh, technique Rositude I think it's called that so yeah uh, it's knit with the uh, double strands of Nutiden and I think on 5.5 millimeter maybe uh, I have it written down but I haven't got it in my head <laughs> uh, but yeah I love this sweater and if you have if you follow me on Instagram maybe you heard the story <laughs> about this sweater because it's really weird um, I designed this like early spring I want to say somewhere because I sat outside in my mom's garden when I was starting it you know I got a vision and then you started designing I started doing a swatch um, and then I sat outside so I, I think it's about maybe early April or something that I started this sweater uh, and I just got a got a, an idea I started it and then I made a sweater and when I posted it on Instagram I got a message from a, another designer that told me that she thinks that her some of her followers said that my design looked a lot like hers uh, and hers was you know it was finished and soon to be published uh, I'm not gonna say any names or anything you know uh, but yeah so and then I got of course very, very sad um, and it was really hard to read that but then I I looked at the sweaters and they they are similar because it's the same color and the same um, uh, technique but hers is I think they are different enough to be able to be published um, both of them to be published so I took the I, I made the choice to go ahead with my design uh, and uh, to publish the pattern so I started writing the pattern and then one day I just realized that I haven't seen my sweater in such a long time so I started searching for it and I'm I'm not, I have never <laughs> I have never forgotten my knitwear anywhere or I have never dropped uh, like even a, a mitten somewhere so uh, I'm very you know yeah I keep <laughs> I keep them close um, so it re I was really shocked that I had I didn't know where it was so I searched like the whole flat I called my dad and my mom um, because I've been in their houses so I thought maybe I'll, I put it there somewhere um, but yeah and I called my brother I called the, I have been rehearsing in a church and I called them and, and asked if they, they had seen it um, and I searched a car everywhere you know all the bags you know <laughs> when you lost something you search everywhere and I couldn't find it and it was the weirdest thing um, so I posted on Instagram said sorry guys I have to put a pause on this design because it's gone and I yeah I can't find it and I have to have it to write the pattern so uh, and then it was gone for two weeks uh, and I was like I searched for it now and then now and then you know again and maybe underneath something or when I went to my dad's or my mom's house I searched there as well <laughs> and I couldn't find it it was so weird um, but then the other day I think it was like two uh, and when I posted this on Instagram everyone was so nice and so helpful and you know uh, yeah I love the community that I have built on Instagram because it feels very gentle um, and kind but yeah so and then I think it's maybe two weeks and, and some days maybe two or three days I was getting Eden out of the car and we have a, a cage in the 
in the baggage place, <laughs> you know, in the back of the car. Um, and I leaned towards the left and was going to get her out of the cage. And then I saw like the cuff uh, behind the cage and I was like, there it is. And there it was behind the cage, like stuck in behind the cage. Um, and I have actually started to, to make another another one because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to write a pattern and I wanted to have finished have it finished for, uh, for fall. But, you know, if I don't have a sweater, I can't write the pattern. So, yeah, I was so happy and <laughs> so pleased and so, you know, it felt like a weird thing that I that I made the sweater and then I it happened all this happened with the with the other designer and then it was just gone it was very weird <laughs> but now it's back and I'm very happy um, and I'm going to start the, the to write the pattern and then get it at the testers um, soon I'm working another week now uh, away from home and then I I have like a vacation and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a vacation but I'm also gonna write some patterns um, and knit of course so it's gonna be stuff stuff's gonna happen <laughs> even though I'm on vacation so yeah that is the that is the tale of the lost sweater lost and found sweater okay moving on uh, I have actually recently reached uh, 10,000 followers on Instagram actually I'm closer to 15,000 now which is wild to say um, but yeah so I had I had planned a ce celebration for um, for 10k followers and I also planned a ce celebration for um, the one year you know anniversary <laughs> of me publishing the first sweater pa uh, pattern that I made and that was the Yggdrasil sweater, which I released in early June last year. Um, and this is knitted in Svensk Ull from Jarbo. And it's a cropped pattern. Uh, it has these raglan braids and it's very nice. I, I really love this sweater and I use it like all the time. Um, I should make another one, but you know. It's hard to do to to do multiple sweaters of the same pattern when you are a designer. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to celebrate these two things. So I put it together <laughs> in one celebration. So I have uh, this weekend. I have had a ten percent off all patterns in my Ravelry shop uh, for the ten k anniversary, and I have also had uh, a giveaway. So sorry if you missed it, but it will be more giveaways in the future, of course. So I have had more giveaways, a uh, uh, giveaway, sorry, this weekend uh, for a sweater quantity of Svensk Ull from Jarbo in the color that you choose, of course. And I have uh, also promised that if you don't have the pattern, um, you will, of course, receive the pattern for Yggdrasil uh, if you win. So yeah, I'm going to do... I'm going to announce the winner today, as I'm filming this, <laughs> uh, at 2 o'clock. So I'm very excited. But yeah, so that was the 10k and one year anniversary uh, celebration. So if you, have, if you missed that one, you can wait for the, the next one. Uh, yeah, okay, so I have another whip that I can show you. <laughs> another. I have a whip that I can show you. Uh, and that is the sweater for Robin's brother. Um, it's a Riddari, uh, but with a few more colors than usual, and knit in double platelope. So it's very nice to knit, and I am almost, I would say that I'm a bit more than half on the body. Um, so yeah, and the sleeves will go quite fast I think and I'm aiming to get this done for in time for his wedding <laughs> which is in September in early September and I maybe I will yeah I have asked Robin if he want to knit on it a bit <laughs> um, so maybe he will knit on it to help me out because I have a, a few different things to knit on 
Okay, coffee break. Okay, so I have another whip, uh, work in progress, and it's actually the, the tough part, not the tough part, but the, it's mostly finished, it's just the, the finishing touches left on it. And this is um, a wall hanging that I <laughs> started when I was maybe 15 or something, uh, because I found it at my grandmother's home, I think. Um, and I started it and I have been working on it here and there for the last <laughs> 15 years maybe. Uh, so I've been working on it for the last 15 years <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of cute. I think I will hang it on my wall. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, it's a uh, wall hanging, it's embroidered uh, and I'm very impressed by my embroidery actually. It's very neat. Uh, so I had like the the four last words <laughs> left so I did that and then I did the border um, and now I'm gonna you know um, fold the how do you say hem it I don't know. Uh, on the back side so it says it's never too late to get better it's like the translation but it's never too late to make an effort to change so therefore I will wait a bit more <laughs> you know it was a lousy translation but you get my point maybe and it's really nice it's got this yogant inspired embroidery on the sides yeah I think it's nice I think I will hang it somewhere we have a lot of wall space so we have the space words. Yeah, and the last whip that I'm gonna show you is um, a very special one. Um, I brought the whole bobbin. <laughs> so this is my first spun uh, wool on my grandmother's spinning wheel, which I in inherited a few days ago. But yeah, so I learned to spin on this and uh, it was my grandmother who taught me and um, it feels very special to to have made my first bobbin we actually have at my grandmother's house we have uh, one because the spinning wheel came with two bobbins when she bought it so we have two but we only have one that we can use because the other one is uh, full of linen thread that my Paternal grandfather's mother, Amanda, um, she spun it before she died, so it's very special and it's like sewing thread, it's so thin uh, and it's perfect and I wanted to, um, yeah I know, um, I don't have the, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I will wind it someday to be able to use that bobbin but I, I don't know if I have the heart to do that. So yeah, this is my first bobbin with uh, Swedish wool um, from Oddebo Ull, which I bought on Forfestishil. And it's beautiful. I'm very excited. It's very... Uh, I'm gonna do that. Can you please focus? There we go. It's very nice and long fibers. So, yeah. It looks nice, I think. Uh, yeah. So, the last thing that I want to talk about is some new tiden. Because new tiden had, um, they have a, an, a collection coming out in August, which is called Lamas. And the collection uh, was actually offered to. Uh, like some early access for designers in Nuteden and I have these two designs coming out in Nuteden um, and I got the chance, chance to buy two of the Lamas collection colorways beforehand uh, so I bought this one, uh, these ones <laughs> and this is called Krusiduller and this is called Two Neg equals one pass I think it's called that, yeah 
um, but they're beautiful and I haven't decided what to knit in them yet but I'm very excited for these colorways I'm very happy to get the opportunity to to buy some knitted then of course and I made a swatch in the Krusseduller in two strands and I love it <laughs> yeah so that was um, what I wanted to talk about I think yeah so if you want to follow my patreon to join my patreon club <laughs> my patreon um, yeah my patreon club maybe I will call it that you have the link in the description down below the video so yeah thank you for watching and I will hope to see you soon and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and um, yeah, if you want to follow me on my daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram, which is anna.hosvard, um, where I post more often than here. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Happy knitting. Bye.